How's it going you guys? Welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is B and today we're doing a little bit of a different video. Um, as you saw in the beginning, I was actually opening up Lil Simsy's shell challenge. Uh, I know I'm super late on this. Uh, I definitely missed the deadline for the challenge, um, but I thought this shell was pretty cute and I've never done a shell challenge on here and I felt like a smaller shell would be better to start with. Um, originally, I wasn't going to make this a residential lot. Um, I wanted to do it as like kind of like a greenhouse um, shop, like maybe a little cafe type of lot. Um, but I ended up making it a residential uh, and I think it turned out really cute. Uh, I do use CC in this build as you will, you'll see. Um, but I, I think that this turned out really cute, really cozy. Um, and it's just a little one bedroom, one bathroom. Um, honestly, this could probably be a tiny home. Um, I would think maybe like a tier two. I, I don't think it would be the smallest one, but I think definitely a tier two or a tier three um, for the tiny home. Um, and this build is available in the gallery. I do use CC, like I said, but um, I also utilized the new greenhouse kit quite a bit, which you can see with those windows. Um, and I actually have some grievances with those windows. Um, so the windows come with the, I think it's a medium height. They come with two medium height windows, which is the swatch with the open window on top and the swatch without the open window. And then they also have one large size window that has the closed window. So if you wanted to use the large windows, you wouldn't be able to have any of the open windows, which I think is so frustrating. I don't really know why they did that. Um, in my last video on my channel, the big family home that I did, I tried to swap out the windows for the larger ones uh, in the greenhouse bit. And then I couldn't, well, I, I mean, I could have, but I wanted those little open windows. I think that detail is so cute. Um, and I think it's such a bummer that they didn't just give us one more window with that other open swatch. Um, I also think it would have been cool if they had given us a smaller window size, um, you know, for the really small, the smallest wall height. Um, but yeah, I'm, I don't have a whole lot to say about this build. Um, I do think it's kind of reminiscent a little bit of the hippie build that I did. Uh, maybe just a little more dialed down. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about this build. Um, and let me know if you guys have any questions about the custom content that I used. Um, I have been starting to use a lot of the same stuff. Um, a lot of stuff by like Pierre Sim, who I'm pretty sure did the countertops and the wallpaper that I used. Um, but if you have any other questions or questions about the reshade that I'm using, uh, I do plan to make a video at least covering all of my favorite content creators. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get every single item. Um, and I also plan on going through my game and kind of deleting a lot of custom content. Um, I've noticed things have slowed down in my game quite a bit. So I think I need to kind of go through and clean house a bit, uh, delete some older non-updated mods and CC. Um, and so maybe after I do that clean house and then re-download some stuff, um, I'll make that video covering all of the custom content creators and mods and reshade and stuff that I use. Um, so in the meantime, let me know if you guys have questions. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go for now. This is a pretty short video as you see. Uh, so I'm just going to let y'all enjoy the rest of it. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye. Mm -hmm. 